welcome or welcome back to my channel if you're new here. Hi, my name is Olina and I'm Nifty from Norway and I absolutely love making this week, uh, what I knit in a week video. So that's exactly what I'm going to be doing this week. And this week we are actually traveling. We're going to see my fiance's family all the way in Sunnes. So I thought I'd bring you guys along with me on a week of knitting while traveling and while visiting family. I'm excited to see how much knitting I'll actually get done. There is a 12 hour road trip to get there and to get back home. So I, I hope at least on that road trip that I'll get a bit of knitting done. I'm aiming for the sky. So I'm going to be bringing all of my current projects and probably a lot of other yarn as well because I'm not a light packer when I uh, pack my knits and also we're visiting Sunnes and that's where Sunnes uh, garn is and their fabrics so we're probably visiting that as well so there's going to be a lot of yarn on this trip but I've already packed it since we're leaving tomorrow and today we're going skiing and doing other stuff so all of my projects are already packed, but I thought I could just tell you what I'm going to bring. So, you know, going into this week, uh, I'm going to bring my Violetta sweater by Evenit. And this sweater I really hope to get done. We are traveling south, southwest, and the weather there is more spring vibe. So I really want this to be done so I can wear it there. I think that would be really lovely. This sweater is giving me all of the spring vibes. So I just really want it to be done. I have a bit on the body left and also a little bit of, or, or, and both the sleeves. So I think that is the one project I haven't actually packed down all the way yet because I hope to be able to finish the body tonight so I can just work on the sleeves while we're gone. Um, so fingers crossed I'll get to that and then other projects I'm bringing I'm bringing my calls cardigan that I'm making for my son in Sanne Skarn Pergent in the golden brown I'm obsessed with that and also I think it will be really great to have a smaller project I haven't gotten that far on yet while traveling because I can easier bring that with me everywhere we're going so I'm also bringing that. I haven't really gotten that far on that at all. I think I only have the ribbing done that I'm also probably going to work a bit on today. Uh, and then I'm going to be bringing my melange sweater and my delusional mind is telling me that I can probably finish that as well. We're going to be gone for five days and I have most of the body and both sleeves and the neckline to go but I'm going to pack with me my son's melange sweater that is matching just in case I finish it and will be able to wear it but I don't think so and then I'm also going to be bringing yarn for a pair of mittens for my son because he hasn't any mittens I'm trying to do that during the road trip there I'm going to bring with me yarn for a pair of pants for my son the Willems overalls and I'm going to bring with me the yarn for felted slippers for myself, some drops Nepal. And am I going to bring with me more yarn than that? I don't think so. So I'm going to bring with, and I'm going to be bringing my wedding dress, of course, because I want to knit on that. Of course, that's a probably a project I just really want to work on all the time so I'm packing a couple of skeins and that project as well just in case I get some time to work on it that as well as the cross cardigan is also still a quite small project so it's easier to bring with me if we're going around town and visiting people so that's all of the projects I'm bringing I'm bringing four active four active projects and then I think yarn for three or four more projects so I'll definitely not run out of yarn but I'd rather overpack than not pack enough even though lately I haven't really been progressing a lot with my knits. All of these knits almost have been on my needles for so long so I'm just really ready to get some of these projects off my needles so hopefully bringing them all with me will allow me to get at least some of them off my needles 
but that is what I'm bringing with me and what I'm knitting on this week. So that's all of the projects, uh, projects I'm going to be knitting on this week and I hope you'll want to knit with me through this week.
spend most of this week traveling or visiting my fiance's family and in just a couple of hours we're going back home but I haven't been able to update you while we've been here so I'm going to try to do that now at the same time I'm going to try to not wake anyone up because we're in a small apartment so if this sounds a bit bad I'm sorry but I just wanted to show where I'm at with all of my projects before I pack them down to leave so I'll just start with what I have um, this is my wedding dress I have not done a lot on this while we've been here but I think I've gotten a centimeter done maybe I'm really excited to get back home and work more on this this is definitely going to be one of the projects I work more on when I get home but now I think I have like four centimeters maybe so not worked a lot on that and then I also have this large sweater that I've literally not done a single stitch on it's really pretty and I'm really happy I brought it with me just in case I wanted to knit on it but I haven't done a single stitch um, and then I have my Violetta that I really wanted to have done before I even got here and as you can see I still have one sleeve left to do and half of this other one but I have finished the body just before leaving for this trip and then I have done like half a sleeve so happy with the progress and I'm excited to get back home and finish this when I'm not like on the go all the time so those are the projects closest to me then I have this one that I just started working on this is one of the mittens for my twin cousin I have already made the first twin their mittens they're in this um, darker grey it's a bit hard to show because it's also dark because it's in the middle of the ni uh, night right now this is the second pair, so I have like one and a half gloves, gloves to go, mittens to go. Hopefully that will be done because I'm giving them away tomorrow when we're seeing them because they're like halfway back home. So that's also one project. And then I have my son's Carl's cardigan. It's all just a bit hard to show now in the dark, but you've seen this throughout the week. This has been my main project, one thing I've carried with me the most and gotten the most work on. And then I have made one Sophie shawl for my fiancé's grandma that I gave away today, so that's already given away. Um, but I think that's all of my uh, projects that I've been working on this week. Um, I also finished those mittens for my son, but you've seen those already, but that's what I've been doing this week and now I'm really excited to get back home and get back to uh, more knitting time and more scheduled knitting time and I'm really excited for my wedding dress because I feel like I really figured out how to move forward with this. Now I really just want to get to a point where I can do the next step just to see if it works out or not so now I'm just going to pack everything together and then the road trip back home and then we're home hopefully I'll also be able to knit a bit on the road trip back home I'm going to finish these mittens for the twins and then hopefully work on my wedding dress and maybe the Carl's cardigan but that was this little update. I hope you can hear me even though I've been whispering, but yeah, that's it.
hi, now that I'm back home, I'm going to do a yarn haul, show all of the yarn I got when I was at the Sun is Gone outlet uh, and the fabric uh, Sun is Gone has in Sun is. I got a lot of yarn, I'll try to show it, but I got four plastic bags filled with yarn. So I thought I'd so I thought I'd go through that. Hopefully the plastic noise is not too annoying because of all the plastic bags. I have to say that this is a lot of yarn, but not all of it is for me. Luckily I have not gotten all of this yarn for myself. Um but since Sun is gone is so far away from where me and my family and my friends live and the yarn there is so cheap compared to the retail prices of Sanna's uh, Garn yarn. I just had to get a lot while I was there so I got a lot for myself but I also helped uh, a friend out and my mom to get some yarn there because it was cheap but I think we can just dive in. I think we can start with the yarn I got for my friend actually just to get that out of the way and I got her these yarns. Uh, this is Sun is Gone Smart in these two colors because she has two children and she wanted to make each of them a set of clothes. Uh, so I got 20 of each color so 20 of this like I would say mustard yellow maybe and then this green I don't know what I would call this but like a light forest green maybe and then this mustard yellow so I think she'll combine this to make her boys uh, wool set and then she also asked me to and that was 20 of each so one kilo of each and then she also wanted some merino wool this is the reg regular merino wool from Sunness and this is in like a chocolate 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 brown and this she wanted 10 of and then also the tin marine oil from Sanes or in the same like chocolate chocolate color she also wanted 10 of this so that's the yarn I got her so I got her 60 skeins so that was quite a lot of what I got and then I think we can continue in this bag I also wanted some merino oil and I absolutely fell in love with this color this navy blue here it's just so great and what I'm thinking is to make my son a sweater I'm not 100% decided yet I think I would love to make him a anchor sweater in this yarn because I really like our anchor sweater also a, a teddy bear sweater is that what it's called by petite knit i think that would be good but those are patterns i do a lot so i'm also thinking about maybe branching out but i want something i want a quite simple sweater so the color can really speak for itself probably stockinette so i don't quite know but i got six gains and that should be enough for whatever sweater i decide to make and then I also found some double sundae and I just could not resist because my fiancé really likes the color lilac and this is lilac and I have really been wanting to try working with double sundae more. I've only worked with double sundae once and that was for a gift so I haven't really gotten to experience it fully I feel like because I just knit with it and then gave it away. So I'm really excited to now knit with it and wear it and just see how it wears, how it works up, everything. I got 20 skeins of this as well, so one kilo, because then I can do almost anything with it. But I really don't know what to do. I have thought about doing a just one colored Marseille sweater. I've thought about Leo sweater also, just one color. I have thought about doing some of other loops patterns, maybe her new pattern with the braids down the shoulder. I've thought about maybe making a cardigan. I've thought about 
the Esther sweater or the Esther jacket that Petite Knit just released, but I'm really on the fence with this and I just don't know in what direction I'm going to go. So if you have any suggestions what pattern you think would look nice in this lilac color, please let me know because I just can't figure it out on my own. And then I got Pergunt because I just really fell in love with this color. This is also a yarn I got one kilo of, 20 skeins, because when I didn't know what I wanted to do with it, I just got one kilo. And I am not sure what to do with it, but my thoughts so far has been I might do a super sweater light for my son and an Ingrid sweater for my son. I might want to do an Ingrid sweater in the adult size in this too. I don't know. My ideas are kind of all over the place. I don't have enough yarn to do all of those ideas, but those are kind of the directions my mind's going when I think about this yarn. I think this color would be really nice for an Ingrid or some kind of structured knit, but it would also be really nice for a zipper sweater. So that's that. And then I also got a yarn that's completely new to me and that's Tin Pergunt. This color just is so lovely, this green. I've been really obsessed with green lately, so excited to get this and excited to be trying a brand new yarn to me, the Tin Pergunt. If you have used Tin Pergunt before, please let me know what your experience with that has been, how it worked up, how it was to wear, um, what pattern did you knit? Uh, I would love to hear that. I am i don't know at all what I'm going to do with this Tin Pergunt. I got a kilo of this as well. Um, I think it would be really, really, really pretty in some type of cardigan, but I also don't want to get a, a strand of mohair or anything to combine this with because it's just so pretty on its own, but I don't know. <laughs> I don't know a lot of fingering weight patterns for um, cardigans, so I just don't know what to do with it. It's also a bit too rough, I feel, to be used for baby nets. I think toddler nets, this is fine, but for like small babies, I don't think I would use pergint or tin pergint. So that's already through three of the four bags, and then I got. This one, this is like you had to buy it in bulk, but then you got it even cheaper. So this is one kilo of Pergint. I think it is in the poppy, poppy colorway even. So I'm really excited to work with this. Um, I have some of the same ideas for this, for this uh, red, red Pergint as I had for the blue one. I kind of really want to make a Ingrid for myself in this color. I've also thought a Esther jacket would be really cool in this color, but I also, I think my dream would be if I could squeeze one Ingrid for myself and one Ingrid for my son out of the same color paired gint, but I don't think that would be enough yarn. I don't think one kilo would get me an adult sized Ingrid sweater and like a three to four year old size, but that would be my dream. But this is the yarn I'm the most excited to knit with, I think, because this pop of color is just everything. And I feel like my goal for this year, part of my goal for this year, was to keep playing with new colors and not just knit with blue and white and beiges and greys but really explore all of the colors and I feel like when I bought yarn at Sunnets I did that because I got green, I got red, I got the lilac and all of those are colors I don't really knit a lot with so super excited but I think this red has to be the first one out because I just cannot get over this color. I have struggled to not just cast on something but Please let me know what you think would be best to do in the red, if you think a uh, red Ingrid would suit me, because if you say so, I think I'll just cast that on immediately, because I am obsessed with that idea. And then I also got, let me see if I can just get 
some of this out of the way. Then I also got this more boring yarn because I also had to get just some basics. This is perfect. And I got this in grey. This is a sock yarn because it's wool and nylon. So I thought I can finally be able to make myself Sunday socks. I've been wanting to make myself Sunday socks for some time now. So I got six skeins and that I hope will be enough to bake, make Sunday socks for myself and my son. And yeah, this is a project I'm also really excited for even though it's just in grey because I've been wanting Sunday socks for so long. And then I got yarn for my mother. Let's see if I can find both skeins. Here it is. This is the yarn I got for my mother, so she didn't want a lot, but she really wanted fritted scarn. So I got her two skeins in this pink color, and I think she's going to be knitting mittens with this. But that's all I got her, so I can't really blame her for all of the yarn I got. And then the very last thing I got was another thing I bought in bulk, and that was this merino wool again and this it was in a really pretty pink shade i hope you can see it through the plastic this pretty pink here it's like a mix between pink and red and brown almost but i just love this color and my plan for this is to make baby nets because my friends lately have been having a lot of girl babies and I am a bit behind on knitting um, baby gifts for them. So this is going to turn into probably a couple of sweaters that I can gift away and this I'm also really excited for because I love baby nets, I love this color, I love merino wool, I love the feeling of Sana Scarn's merino wool. So I'm just really excited for all of this yarn and I've been struggling to actually finish my whips before casting this on. But hopefully when this video goes out I will be closer to having finished my whips and closer to casting on some of this. So please help me pick what I am going to do first. But that was, that was all of the yarn and I'll see you soon with like the summary of this week of knitting. Last little update, just an update on everything I was able to knit through this week. It turned out to be a bit more than a week and since I stopped filming I've also been knitting a lot but this is the summary of what I knit during this week of knitting and my progress on the projects I didn't finish. So I think we can start with the projects I did finish and as you saw and I think I might have mentioned it. I have finished my son's mittens that I made on the drive to Sanes and the first morning we were there so he could have mittens because we had lost all of his other mittens or he had outgrown them. So this was the first project I made. I made these mittens in the size four to five years because my son has quite big hands and I made them in Drops Merino Extra Fine in the light grey colour. These are the Lavrans mittens by Havrebarna. 
Unfortunately, this pattern is only in Norwegian, but it is a really nice pattern. So if you speak Norwegian or want to try, I do really recommend these mittens. So that's the first project. And then I think the next project I made was the Sunday scarf. I, the, not, not the Sunday, the Sophie scarf I made for my fiance's grandma. Of course, that's already given away. But I'll pop in a picture and I did see the video of me knitting on it and I think I also took a video of it finished. But that's the next thing I finished. That was my first time try trying Tin Pergint. I don't know what the color name is exactly, but it's this lovely deep green with some blue notes. And I made the Sophie scarf. I made the Sophie scarf in the biggest size um, and gifted that away. And then my next <laughs> finished project after that is some more Lovrans mittens by Havre Barna, but also given away and I made the, in the small size for my twin cousins. I made it in the size 0 to 1 year and in that size you don't knit thumbs, so I just knit like the mitten as you see here. Just that part of the mitten, just no thumb, no nothing, no increases. Um, and in a small size, so made two pairs because twins. I'll also pop in a picture of that. Those are also given away because I visited my twin cousins for the first time on our way back home. That was lovely. So those are the three projects that I did finish. And now we can move into what I've been working on and not able to finish. So first up, I think I'll talk about the Carl's Cardigan because that's definitely the project I've been working on the most this week. It's just been the easiest to carry around and the most fun to work on. And this is how far I've gotten on that. I know you haven't seen me working on the sleeves because I did that this night. I just went a bit crazy and started knitting them and they were in stock net and on four millimeters and it just went by so quickly so I made both of them and now I've just connected here so I'm working on the decreases and this is almost done. I don't love this part of working bottom up, I don't love when you connect the sleeves, I just think it's a bit tricky to knit them. But I'm really excited for this to be done soon. I just have the yoke and the button bands to go. And I also think I'm going to win Yarn Chicken. <laughs> that I've been playing this whole project. I've been so stressed about not having enough yarn. But this is the cross card again. It's knit in Pergint in the golden brown. Because I love golden brown. And Pergint is the only yarn that still has that colorway, I think. Because Sun is gone is just discontinuing all the great colors and I'm sad about it but luckily I found it in Pergint after one of you recommended it to me and said it still was in Pergint so I got to make this lovely cardigan in the golden brown and I'm over the moon. I'm also making this in the 45 year old size because I think the Carl Car Carl's cardigan runs a bit uh, small. It's a bit um, What's it called? It's not wide enough in the body, I think. So I'm just making it in a bigger size so that it will last longer. And almost done with that. And then I think I'll talk about the wedding dress next. This is also a project that has gotten more attention than I thought, just because it is, again, small, easy to just work on a bit here and there and bring with me. So this is how far the wedding dress has gotten. It's supposed to go from here to here. So I think I'm over halfway uh, on the top before starting with the sleeves. Again, my favorite detail. I have to show that every time because uh, it's beautiful. So this is wedding dress it's very hard to see yet that it is anything that it's a dress that it's a top that is anything but I really believe that this could turn into a really nice dress so I just want to knit on it all the time just to see if it will turn out as great as I imagine it will 
but now I just ran out of the first skein of Sisu, so this has been on a bit of a break because I'm trying to not rush this process and just have fun with it and knit on it for some time. But that's how the wedding dress is so far. This is, of course, no pattern, but I'm knitting it in Sannesgarn Sisu with Sannesgarn Fölletra, uh, Alpaca Fölletra, and this. Uh, both of those in white um, but yeah I'm excited to see where this will go and then my Violetta of course we have to talk about her she's still not done but she is so close to being done I have I finished the body just before leaving for Sanes and then I finished the sleeve uh, right when we got back home so now I have to do the second sleeve but since I've been working on the sleeves on the cards cardigan I haven't had the needles to do the sleeve because I need four millimeter DPNs for both the sleeve and the cards cardigan but now that that's out of the way I'm going to be back to working on this I'm probably going to just finish the cards cardigan first but this is very close to be done and it's next in line after the cards cardigan is done and actually when we uh, got back home it was still we got back to like spring weather here too. It's still a lot of snow outside that hasn't melted yet, but the weather is actually warm and the sun actually is warm now. So I am so excited to finish this and wear it and have this for spring. And when the snow not starts melting, we had dinner outside for the first time yesterday this year. So spring is coming and I'm excited to have this sweater for it. Um, of course I knit this in Flora in pink and Kid Silk in pearl pink and this is the size medium. And then my poor melange sweater that I had big hopes and plans for this week is exactly where it was when I started. I have knit zero stitches on this. I put on this, um, what's it called, to like protect the stitches from slipping off the needles and I haven't taken those off a single time. But this is uh, the thing I'm going to focus on after the Violetta is done. So this is third in line and I think I'll get to it soon and since it is net. I think I'll just race through it but those are all of my projects I feel like I entered this week kind of in a knitting slump I had been knitting on most of my pro uh, projects for quite a long time and I just felt that in the past weeks I have not had a lot of time to knit and when I knit nothing has really progressed very quickly so I don't know but this week I just sort of feel like that has solved itself. I am super into knitting again. I feel productive with my knitting again. I think the whole at Sanneskarn has something to do with that. Just Sanneskarn and yarn on a discount just makes me happy and also making all of the small projects I've been doing lately, all of the mittens and the scarf and just feeling like I can actually finish something even if I don't have a lot of knitting time has just been great. So I'm so happy to have like the joy of knitting back because I was really in a slump before this week started. So now I just want to go back and work on my Carl's cardigan, honestly. So that's what I'm going to do. I hope you enjoyed this video of a week in my life with knitting. And if you did, please leave a like in a comment. And if you want to see more from me, subscribe. Bye!